Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Dr. V. Jayakma. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. In this lecture video, we will be discussing about the concept, significance and various types of balancing of masses problem that will be discussed in this course. Before we proceed, if you are visiting this channel for the first time or you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified every time when I post a brand new video on this channel. So let's get started. What is balancing after all? Knowingly, unknowingly, we have done the balancing act in our day to day life. As you could see in this very popular classic Tamil comedy scene where the comedian acts as a two-wheeler mechanic where he unbends the wheel. So what is the role of the spokes there? What would happen if two or more spokes are broken? Why the wheels wobble? How they are being fixed up? The process is known as truing, T-R-U-I-N-G. All these concepts related to balancing of masses. In the same manner, we do wheel balancing for our wheels of our cars. Wheel balancing is the method of maintaining the perfect balance between the tire and the rim for seamless distribution of mass. If there is an imbalance within the wheels, what will happen? The driver will feel the vibration on the steering. Unevenness in a tire or a rim could take the wheel out of balance. So what we do, we are adding small mass on the periphery of the rim, which balances the wheel. Though we are being fixed nowadays by computerized equipment, as a mechanical engineer, we need to know the underlying principle calculation behind this speed balancing. All are coming under balancing of masses concept. Now let us catch up some basic theories behind balancing. Any moving part of a machine will have associated applied force and inertia forces. Usually applied forces will be balanced, whereas the inertia forces and inertia torques are the primary cause for the unbalance in the rotating and reciprocating machines. That is the reason why inertia forces are known as shaking or rocking or unbalanced or disturbing forces. Same way, inertia movements are known as shaking or rocking or unbalanced or disturbing movements. So we need to eliminate, correct these inertia forces and inertia movements in a machinery. The act, the technique, the process of correcting or eliminating unbalance due to inertia forces and movements is known as the balancing. Let us consider this illustration of an unbalanced force in a revolving rotor. Consider a rotor mounted on a shaft which rotates with constant angular velocity omega. Here, the center of mass of the rotor do not lie with the center of the shaft. So there is a eccentricity E. When the rotor rotates, we know that we will be having an inertia force which will be radially acting outwards which is equal to m e omega square. That inertia force is nothing but centrifugal force. This inertia force will exert unbalance on the two bearings A and B as you could see in the force diagram. So this unbalanced force, disturbing force caused by the centrifugal force has to be balanced. So normally the balancing can be done by two methods. One by adding additional mass in the opposite direction to top the unbalanced force or by removing some mass from the system. Now let us see what will happen if balancing is not done. Significance of balancing. If the moving parts are not balanced, we know that inertia forces movements will be set up in the structure. These shaking forces or movements induce vibrations in the structure. What is the effect of vibration? Vibrations will produce excessive noise 
will cause undue wear of mating components, will increase the component stresses and the vibration will subject the bearings to repeated loads, which we call it as fatigue loads. So these are the things that vibration can cause. So what will happen to the machine or components? This will lead to premature failure of machine components and it will lead to faulty performance of the machine and also will result into human discomfort. These are the various reasons why we go for balancing of rotating and reciprocating masses. Let us now list few practical scenarios where we need to do balancing. As we have discussed, balancing is required in all rotating and reciprocating machinery. In rotating machineries, in crankshafts, in flywheels, motors and generators, steam and gas turbines, automobile wheels, helicopter propellers, shafts, pulleys, gears, or machine tools involving rotation of masses, washing machine drums. All these are typical examples of rotating machines where we need balancing. Same way, we need to do balancing of reciprocating machines as well. Say in IC engines, single cylinder and multi-cylinder IC engines, steam engines, reciprocating pumps, reciprocating compressors, radial engines, etc. These are all the applications where we need to do balancing of masses. For our simplicity, balancing of masses problems can be broadly classified under two types. One is balancing of rotating masses, another one is balancing of reciprocating masses. Under balancing of rotating masses, we will be studying them under three different headings. Number one is balancing of single rotating mass. The second topic will be balancing of several masses rotating in same plane. And finally, we will be dealing with balancing of several masses rotating in different planes. We have four broader ratings under balancing of reciprocating masses, wherein we will start with balancing of single cylinder engine, then we will go for balancing of two cylinder engines, followed with balancing of multi-cylinder inline engines, and finally we will be dealing with balancing of radial engines. This chart summarizes the overview of various types of balancing of masses problems that we need to discuss in this course. The key takeaways for this lecture are summarized here for your ready reference. Hope you understood this concept. If so, support the work by liking this video, sharing it to your friends, subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell icon. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.